Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. In this video, we will find the roots or zeros of quadratic functions and determine the equation of the quadratic functions given the roots or zeros. Ibig sabihin class, vice versa. Kukunin natin ng roots or zeros ng quadratic function. Tapos, given naman ng roots or zeros, gagawin naman nating equation ng quadratic functions or isusulat natin sa standard form ng quadratic function. Unahin na natin ang pag-solve sa roots or zeros ng quadratic functions. Find the roots or zeros of f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x minus 36. The roots of a function are the x-intercepts. By definition, the y-coordinates of points lying on the x-axis is 0. Ibig sabihin, class, yung given function natin na f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x minus 36 Pwede natin class palitan ng 0 yung x doon sa ating f of x. Kaya magiging 0 is equal to x squared minus 5x minus 36. At pwede rin natin class balik na rin magiging x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. At kung mapapansin nyo class, siya ay nasa standard form ng ating quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c. Ibig sabihin, class, pwede natin itong isolve using any method. Pwede extracting the square root, factoring, completing the square, and quadratic formula. But this time, since yung given natin, class, ay factorable, factoring method yung gagamitin natin. So, kunin muna natin, class, yung factor ng ating x squared or quadratic term. So, yung factor po nito, class, is the quantity of x plus blank times the quantity of x minus blank is equal to 0. So, ginawa ko itong plus or minus kasi class, yung ating constant term is negative. Na ang ibig sabihin, yung factor natin ay isang positive at isang negative. So, ilista natin class yung mga factor ng negative 36. So, ito class yung mga factor ng negative 36. 1 times negative 36 is equal to negative 36. 2 times negative 18 is equal to negative 36. 3 times negative 12 is equal to negative 36. And 4 times negative 9 is equal to negative 36. Tapos class, kukunin natin yung factor na kapag inad natin ay equal dun sa ating numerical coefficient sa linear term. Yung factor class ng negative 36 na kailangan natin is positive 4 and negative 9. Because positive 4 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 5. Kaya po, magkakaroon tayo class ng the quantity of x plus 4 is equal to 0 and the quantity of x minus 9 is equal to 0. Ginamit ko na rin dito class yung zero product property. Kaya po nagkaroon ng equal to 0. At yung x plus 4 class and x minus 9, ito na po class yung pinakang factor ng x squared minus 5x minus 36. Ngayon class, isold na natin yung roots. Unahin na natin class si x plus 4. So, gagamitin lang natin to class ng subtraction property of equality. Subtract both sides by 4. So, magiging x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 minus 4 or x is equal to negative 4. Ngayon, isolve naman natin class sa x minus 9. So, x minus 9, gagamitan naman natin class ng addition property of equality at both sides by 9. Kaya po, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 0 plus 9 or x is equal to 9. So, yung roots natin class is x is equal to negative 4 or x is equal to 9. And this is our final answer. So the roots of the quadratic functions f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x minus 36 is x is equal to negative 4 or x is equal to 9.
Next, reverse naman natin class ang process. Given naman ng roots, aalamin naman natin ang equation ng quadratic functions. If r sub 1 and r sub 2 are the zeros of a quadratic functions, then f of x is equal to the quantity of x minus r sub 1 times the quantity of x minus r sub 2, where a is a non-zero constant that can be determined from other point on the graph. We can also use the sum and the product of the zeros to find the equation of the quadratic functions f of x is equal to x squared minus the quantity of the sum of r sub 1 and r sub 2 times x plus the product of r sub 1 and r sub 2. Again class, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. So proceed tayo class sa example. Find an equation of a quadratic function whose zeros are negative 4 over 3 and 1 half. So, gamitin muna natin class yung ating method number 1. Then, lagay lang natin class yung given roots. x is equal to negative 4 over 3 and x is equal to 1 half. At para makuha natin class yung equation ng quadratic function, kire-reverse lang natin ang process kung paano tayo kumukuha ng roots ng quadratic equation gamit ang factoring. Kung napapansin nyo, kapag sinosolve natin ang value ng x, sineseparate natin siya sa left side. Tapos, lahat ng numerical coefficient at constant nilalagay natin sa right side. Ngayon naman, ibabalik lang natin yung constant kasama ni x sa left side para makuha ulit natin class yung mga factors ng quadratic function. So, unay na natin class yung x is equal to negative 4 over 3. Since fraction class yung ating roots, una nating inilipat yung ating denominator. Kailangan nating gamitan ng multiplication property of equality, multiply both sides by 3. So the quantity of 3 times x is equal to negative 4 over 3 times the quantity of 3. Then simplify natin class, magiging 3x is equal to negative 4. After that, gamitan naman natin class ng addition property of equality. Add both sides by 4. So, 3x plus 4 is equal to negative 4 plus 4. So, isisimplify natin magiging 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, nakuha na natin class yung ating first factor. Next, solve naman natin class si x is equal to 1 half. Ganun lang uli yung gagawin natin. Apply lang natin uli class si multiplication property of equality. Multiply both sides by 2. So the quantity of 2 times x is equal to 1 half times the quantity of 2 is equal to 2x is equal to 1. Then apply naman natin dito class yung subtraction property of equality. Subtract both sides by 1. So, 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 is 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. At kapag nakuha na natin class yung dalawang factor, i-multiply naman natin ito gamit ang FOIL method. So, f of x is equal to the quantity of 3x plus 4 times the quantity of 2x minus 1. So, gamitin na natin class yung ating FOIL method. So, multiply the first term. 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. Next, multiply the outer term. 3x times minus 1 is equal to negative 3x or minus 3x. Then, inner term. 4 times 2x is equal to 8x or positive 8x. And then, for our last term, 4 times minus 1 or negative 1 is equal to negative 1. 4 or minus 4. And then, combine natin class yung like terms. Negative 3x plus 8x is equal to 5x. Kaya po naging 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. At ito class yung equation ng quadratic function na may roots or zeros na negative 4 over 3 and 1 half. Okay, next example. Find an equation of quadratic function whose zeros are negative 3 over 2 and 1. So this time class, gamitin naman natin yung ating method number 2, yung sum and the product of the roots. So ito class yung ating gagamitin formula, 
f of x is equal to x squared minus the quantity of the sum of r sub 1 and r sub 2 times x plus the product of r sub 1 and r sub 2. Dito class, isa substitute lang natin yung ating given roots doon sa ating formula. Kaya magkakaroon tayo class ng f of x is equal to x squared minus the quantity of negative 3 over 2 plus 1 times x plus the quantity of negative 3 over 2 times the quantity of 1. Pagkatapos, isa-isahin natin class is solve. So, bring down lang natin yung x squared. Then, next naman class, yung ating operation symbol. Bring down lang din natin. Then, negative 3 over 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 1 half. Then, negative 1 half, multiply pa natin class doon sa x. Kaya po, magkakaroon tayo ng the quantity of negative 1 half x. At kung mapapansin nyo class, hindi ko muna inalis sa parenthesis para masundan nyo mamaya yung pagbabago ng sign. Okay, next tayo class, bring down lang din natin yung operation symbol. Tapos, kunin natin yung product ni negative 3 over 2 and 1. So, negative 3 over 2 times the quantity of 1 is equal to negative 3 over 2. Then, bring down uli natin class C, x squared. Then, ito class yung sinasabi ko kanina, since subtraction yung operation natin, tapos negative yung nakuha nating value, kaya hindi ko muna inilabas sa parenthesis. So, i-apply lang natin dito class yung multiplication rules sa integers. So, minus times the quantity of negative 1 half x or negative times negative is equal to positive. Kaya po, magiging positive 1 half x or plus 1 half x. Then, ganun din dito class. Apply lang din natin yung rules sa multiplication of integers. So, kaya lang dito ay different sign. So, positive times negative is equal to negative. Kaya po, magiging negative 3 over 2 or minus 3 over 2. And this is our final answer. So, hanggang dito na lang ulit class. Kung meron po kayong katanungan, ilagay lang sa ating comment section. At kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na ito, huwag pong kalimutang mag-like, subscribe, at share. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.